Hello and welcome to the Veggie Kitchen. I'm your host Ed and today I'm baking up a banana date bread. VeggieKitchen.org, that's coming up. This is VeggieKitchen.org and today I am baking up a banana date bread. I'm starting with one banana on this. I'm using an overripe banana, a spotty banana. This is the kind you want to use. It's sweeter and it actually mashes easier. So I'm just taking a fork, that's it, and I'm mashing down my banana. This is a really nice recipe and it's a vegan recipe. We're going to be using flax seed and water in place of the egg. So I got my banana nice and creamy here and it goes into the mixing bowl. Okay, bananas are delicious and good for you. They have potassium, protein, fiber. Okay, bananas in. Next, we're going to use the flax seed. I actually started with whole flax seed. I took the whole flax seed and I put it in my coffee grinder and blended them down to a powder. And this is what we came up with. To this, I'm adding my water. And this is going to be the substitute for the egg. Mixing it up. Okay. And in it goes. Now I'm going to be adding to this the almond milk and the vegetable oil. Okay, all of this with a hint of vanilla and these are the wet ingredients. Mixing them up, getting the banana smoothed out, still a few lumps in it. To this we're adding the dates. I use daglet dates. I took eight dates, I pitted them and cut them up into pieces and it came out to a half a cup. You could use any date I presume to be okay. Just want to end up with about a half a cup. Okay. Dates go in. Okay, looks like we're ready to add the, or to start working on the dry ingredients. For the dry ingredients, I'm using white whole wheat flour. I'm adding my baking powder, baking soda, and just a dash of cinnamon. Mix this up nicely. And for the sweetener, we're using Sucanot. Sucanot is a Sucanot's like an acronym. Actually, it's a brand you can call. You can buy in the store. We bought it at the natural food store. Sucanot stands for sugar cane natural, and it's basically sugar cane juice that's uh, dried and crystallizes, and that's about it. We're using it because it has a great flavor and actually a nice tone to it. Look at this nice brown tone to it, and it's going to add some color to the banana date bread. All right, in it goes. Mixing this all up, and then I'm going to add this to the wet mixture. This is going to make one small loaf. I have my, I have a baking pan ready to go, a baking loaf pan. What I've done to the baking pan is I've already added a little bit of margarine to the pan to keep the cake from sticking, and I'm also going to be using a. Uh, I'm also going to be using the parchment paper. I think I need a spoon here to get the edges. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit better. What I'm trying to do here is just mix everything nice and evenly. I don't want any lumps of flour. There, it's coming together nicely. Okay. I think I'm ready for the 
baking pan. As I said, I add a little bit of margin to the pan, and I'm going to put a piece of parchment paper in it. Parchment paper, just a strip across the bottom, not the sides. So when we're all done, when the cake is done, I'll be able to lift up the parchment paper and pull the cake out. Okay. Let's see, another stir here. I think it looks great. Okay, here we go. Into the pan and then into the oven. I have the oven preheating right now at 350 degrees and that's the temperature we're going to be cooking it at. It's going to cook for 30 minutes. Okay. Get this out of the way. That's it. Ready to go in the oven, and we'll put it in. We'll be back in 30 minutes to check on it. VeggieKitchen.org Welcome back, VeggieKitchen.org. It has been 30 minutes. The banana date bread's been in the oven, and I just checked it, and it's ready to come out. I need another pot holder. Hang on. Okay, yike, hot. Okay. The banana date bread is done. I had checked it, this is how you'll check it when you make it at home, one toothpick, send it down the center, bring it up, when you come up, it should be nice and dry, look at that, nothing stuck to it, there's no dough on it, that shows you that it's done, but this was 30 minutes at 350 on my oven, it should be about the same on yours, and this is it, I'm going to let it cool off before I move it out, I don't want to break it, so I'm not going to lift it just yet. I have another one I made earlier, and you can see, with the parchment paper, I was able to just lift it out, and there it is, laid it out to cool. I'll do the same with this in a few minutes, and uh, once you let it cool, it's ready to slice, and you're ready to have banana date bread. I'm actually going to slice up this one in a moment, and we're going to have this with the chai masala we made in the prior episode. Those, so that's it for today, banana date bread, delicious vegan recipe, I hope you'll try it. VeggieKitchen.org, as always, thank you for watching.